But you want me to answer him now? Oh, sure. Yes. Okay. So, so tell me, uh, so I thought it would be difficult for you. Well, Dick, you know, I thought so too. After all, I had been here for, what, 53 years? That's a long, long time. And I thought I was really going to have a rough time breaking away and, and adapting to a new situation. Easiest thing I ever did. Well, I've, I've, really, I've really enjoyed my retirement. I didn't realize how much I would, but uh, my wife's made it a lot easier for me. So she's home all the time? Yeah, most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, uh, she has put up with me pretty much 24-7. Yeah. Maybe we should interview her. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't think so. <laughs> so what is a typical day in your retirement? Is there a typical day? Not really. Uh, you know, some days I don't do much of anything. Uh, some days uh, we uh, get out, maybe do a little day trip here and there and that sort of thing. But uh, we're pretty much home, folks. I, of course, naturally, during the summertime, I do a lot of yard work. You can't tell it by looking at my yard, but nonetheless, I do. And I've had a few little uh, projects that I've had to do around the house, a little painting and things like that. And I, I keep myself pretty busy doing that sort of stuff. So you enjoy it more than you thought you would. Oh, yeah, I sure do. It's not that <clears throat> it's not that I didn't enjoy working here after all I did. I mean, you know, you don't work at a place as long as I did and not feel like it's your home, uh, second home at least. And, of course, the people that I work with, I, I, I really enjoyed working with everybody, particularly with you. After all, I hired you, didn't I? Yeah, yes, yeah, you did. Yes, I did. And uh, with you and all the folks I've worked with. And the same is true with people I work with throughout my entire career. I can't think of anybody who I didn't like and didn't enjoy working with. And that's uh, particularly true on the last days that I worked here. A lot of changes in broadcasting since you started. Yes, there have been. There certainly have. <clears throat> when I first started, of course, it was all black and white. There were two television stations in the market, us and the other guys. I will, I'll, yeah, oh yeah. Who, who shall be nameless nonetheless, but uh, subsequent to that, uh, color came along and videotape and, and uh, then of course uh, the cable competition and uh, numerous other TV stations in the market as well, so things have changed a great deal. When Lee Gordon watches TV, is he a critic from being in the, in the business so much? <sighs> Unfortunately, I find myself doing that little nuances here and there, little little goof-ups from time to time. And, and that's not to be critical, but uh, let's, let's face it, we all do it. I did it a lot when I, was, when I was working here. But yeah, you can't help but being a little critical. When did you know you wanted to be on TV? Or did you know? <clears throat> well, I didn't really know for sure. Uh, when I first started out, my, my first idea was I wanted to be an actor. You know, because uh, uh, speech and dramatics was my thing in school. But then I thought, well, that's ridiculous. The only way that I'm going to be able to, to put my, uh, my abilities to work would be in radio. But see, that was back before TV came along. And then uh, TV came along, and uh, they had kind of a, what you might call a cattle call. Uh, they needed a part-time announcer. So the folks at the TV station called our speech and dramatics uh, teacher and coach and said, uh, do you have anybody that you can send out? So he sent out me and uh, Lee Hauser, who used to do, <laughs> who used to be here. I beat him out for the job. <laughs> anyway, I, I, that was when I first realized I wanted to start working in TV. And um, after a couple of part-time weeks, uh, the full-time guy quit and uh, they offered me a full-time job and I thought, okay. And I just never left. You had no idea you were going to be there more than 50 years. Though. No, that wasn't my, <clears throat> that wasn't what I planned to do initially, but uh, it just worked out that way. Uh, after all, I grew up in this community. Uh, I, my family has grown up in this community, and uh, it, it just worked out that it was, it was just the thing for me to do. I really enjoy it. Now, you're a Jeff City native, but you ended up in full. That's right. Uh, when my wife and I got married, she was working, she lived in Fulton, and uh, she had a job in Fulton, and I thought, well, you know, it's about a 50-50 split, so we set up housekeeping in Fulton, and we just never left. <laughs> now, uh, getting back to some of your activities, I know you get some exercise outside, too. Huh? Yes, a little bit. Uh, 
One thing my wife and I really enjoy doing is walking on the uh, Stinson Creek Trail. Uh, it's a walking trail that the city has set up, the Parks and Recreation Department has set up, that traverses uh, the Stinson Creek, which wanders through the city. It's really kind of unique. It's a little on the rough side uh, here and there, but uh, there are some, some very nice spots. Well, for example, there's a covered bridge that uh, is, is rather unique. Uh, this bridge initially started out as sort of a bridge for traffic, but when they opened up the trail, they closed the bridge to traffic, put the cover over it, and it's very, 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 very attractive. Uh, and then, of course, you kind of wander through, you go past Westminster College, and, uh, and uh, you wind up the end of the trail, at least the, uh, I guess you would say the north end of it, is at the uh, old railroad bridge. And this bridge is fairly unique too. Originally, it was a railroad bridge. It was moved there in like, I believe it was 1903, something like that. And they used to run trains over it. Of course, the railroad in that part of the area has been closed off, but it, uh, it just makes a very picturesque thing for the trail. All in all, it's, it's a nice trail and we enjoy walking. We do it in halfway decent weather at least. We do it maybe two or three times a week. That, that leads me into the, uh, the trips that you have been taking here. You're still involved in representing the station, too. Yes, I am, and we really enjoy it. <clears throat> That's one of the things, that we, the thing we really enjoy about these trips. Of course, they're a lot of fun in themselves, but it's all the nice people that we're able to meet as a result. Uh, we've developed some long-term friendships from a lot of the folks that, uh, that traveled with us over, the, over a period of time. Uh, and another thing that we tend, that we do, um, we, we get together after every trip, we always get together again with the folks that we went with. And then uh, sometimes we, we get together beyond that too. Uh, uh, one group that we went with a few years back, we get together maybe all oh, three, four times a year for lunch. And uh, I've, one thing I've enjoyed doing too with them is uh, some of these folks, they come over to Fulton and I uh, take them through the, uh, the Churchill Memorial in Fulton. That's one of the high spots of, of the community, of course, and everybody really enjoys that. And I'm, I'm glad it's there. So you're kind of an ambassador to Fulton and, and the TV station and Mid-Missouri. Right? Well, I try to be, I try to be, yes. So, so life is good in retirement. Life is great in retirement. Uh, I didn't realize how much fun it was gonna be. And, you don't have to do an awful lot of stuff to enjoy yourself. I mean, I watch TV, of course, and uh, but my wife and I, of course, we do these. We do a lot of uh, old day trips from time to time, as I mentioned once before. Uh, I have one son who lives in the Chicago area. We go up there to visit him occasionally, and uh, then of course we take these these trips for the station, which uh, we really, really enjoy doing. Not just for the trips, but as I say, because of the wonderful people that we meet. And you're not as old as some people think. Since you were here for more than 50 years, some people think you're 105, I think. Not quite. <laughs> 96. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not quite 105. I'm a little younger than that, but uh, I'm not going to say how old I am, you know. <laughs> Sounds good. That's fine. Okay. okay. Anytime? Well, that was 23 years ago, and now, of course, is... 2013, and we're still here. And Lee, I, I wanted to say personally that, you know, when you retired, I thought retirement was going to be hard for you because the TV station was so much a part of, of your life. Well, actually, I thought so too. Okay. But I was wrong. He can't, okay. 